If you are a woman and have uterine fibroids, your doctor may recommend robotic fibroid tumor removal, also known as robotic myomectomy. Your reproductive organs include your vagina, cervix, uterus, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. A uterine fibroid, also known as a leiomyoma, is a non-cancerous tumor in your uterus. It begins with an abnormal growth of cells in your uterine wall. Uterine fibroids grow in place and don't spread or metastasize to other parts of your body. The four main types of uterine fibroids are intramural, which grows inside the wall of your uterus, subserosal, which grows on the outer wall of your uterus, submucosal, which grows in the inner wall of your uterus, and pedunculated, which grows on a small stalk attached to the inner or outer wall of your uterus. The size and location of your uterine fibroids may cause symptoms such as heavy menstrual bleeding, irregular bleeding between periods, lower back pain, pain during sex, frequent urination, fullness and enlargement of the lower abdomen, and pregnancy complications. Before your procedure, an intravenous line, or IV, will be started. You will be given antibiotics through the IV to decrease your chance of infection. You will be given general anesthesia to put you to sleep and block pain during the procedure. A breathing tube will be inserted through your mouth and into your airway to help you breathe during the operation. Your surgeon will make a small incision in or just above your belly button and insert a tube called a port. Carbon dioxide gas will pass through this port into your abdomen. The gas will inflate your abdomen, giving your surgeon more room to see and move the surgical tools. After your abdomen is inflated, a high-definition camera will be inserted into this port. Your surgeon will make additional port incisions for robotic instruments as well as for instruments used by patient side assistants. An assistant will insert all of the robotic tools through these ports. Unlike standard laparoscopic instruments, these tools can rotate 360 degrees and have more flexibility than the human wrist. Seated at a special console, your surgeon will operate the robotic arms and the camera with joystick-like controls and foot pedals. A computer will translate the exact movements of your surgeon's fingers into precise movements of the surgical tools. At the same time, a high-definition vision system will provide a magnified three-dimensional stereoscopic view of the surgical area. Your surgeon will locate your uterine fibroid and inject it with medication to reduce bleeding. Next, your surgeon will carefully cut around the edges of your fibroid and remove it. Your uterus will not be removed. The remaining edges of your uterus will be closed with sutures. At the end of your procedure, the tiny incisions will be closed with stitches, staples, surgical glue, or skin closure strips. After your procedure, your breathing tube will be removed and you will be taken to the recovery area for monitoring. You'll be given pain medication as needed. You may be released from the hospital the same day or within one day after the procedure.